Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing different types of calcium. So I had a ton of questions about different types of calcium supplements. There's a lot of confusion as to what is the best type. So make sure you stay tuned right until the end because I'll share my favorite type of calcium supplement to take. But first let's talk a little bit about how would you know that you're actually deficient in calcium? While well, your body could be giving you some telltale signs and symptoms of calcium deficiency. So one of them would be weak and brittle nails. So if your nails crack or they're very brittle, this could be a calcium deficiency. And another symptom would be sore joints. So we know of course that our bones require enough calcium, but if you're getting a lot of stiffness and pain in the joints, that could be an indication of a calcium deficiency. And another symptom would be weak bones. So certainly if you've had your bone density evaluated by your doctor, if you are getting low in calcium, it would be indicated as osteopenia or of course osteoporosis as well would be a sign of lack of proper calcium absorption as well as insomnia so yes believe it or not that's why I always say take your calcium closer to bedtime because it does help with our melatonin and that's really important for a good night's sleep as well as eczema so chronic skin conditions can be related to low calcium and not always the first thing that you would think that that would be correlated with your calcium but also with your magnesium and that proper balance between calcium and magnesium is always necessary to ensure that all of your enzyme systems are working as they should. And this is where we, when we see inflammation in the body and in the skin can be related to that calcium deficiency. As well as muscle aches and cramps and spasms in the muscles, this can also be related to that imbalance between our magnesium and our calcium. Even when we're talking now about brain function, so whether it's confusion and memory loss, even as far as depression and hallucinations can be related to a calcium deficiency and the one that you know a lot of people don't realize when I take Mr. Fat here, so Mr. Fat represents, of course, this is just five pounds of fat, but when we are deficient in calcium, and this was a study that was done in women, that when we're deficient in calcium, something happens, and that's called lipogenesis, meaning the making of more fat, and certainly something that we don't necessarily want if we're not needing extra fat on our body, and if we're trying to maintain a healthy weight and trying to keep off that extra body weight, we have to ensure that we have enough calcium calcium in our body to be able to do that so we're not always turning on that fat making process. So now let's discuss the different types of calcium and remember to stay tuned right until the end because I'm going to share my favorite type of calcium supplement. So calcium carbonate is probably the most commonly prescribed or used or purchased type of calcium supplement and it is usually derived from either marble or limestone so it comes from rocks and it has about 35% elemental calcium. So the question is, it is very inexpensive how well absorbed and how well your, will your body actually utilize that calcium. So the calcium carbonate, yes, it's very common, but in my opinion, it's not always the best type of calcium supplement to take because of poor absorption. And for a lot of people can actually cause constipation and bloating and an uncomfortable feeling in the gut when you take the calcium carbonate. It is very alkalinizing to the body, but meaning that we actually need some stomach acid to be able to absorb the calcium from the carbonate form. And for people that are lacking in stomach acid, which is very common, this could be a problem in terms of absorption. Now the next type that I'll talk about is calcium phosphate and this is about 31% in terms of the elemental calcium that you'll get. Not the best bioavailability again. Again the source is from rocks and sometimes it can come from cow's milk. So in terms of again getting the best form of a natural source of calcium it's not my absolute favorite and when we talk about bioavailability or what that means in terms of the elemental calcium in any of these calcium supplements is that really a supplement manufacturer should really put that information on the label. When you're buying perhaps it says 1200 milligrams of calcium carbonate, 
you're getting calcium carbonate, so it's that complex. It should really tell you exactly how many milligrams of actual elemental calcium you're getting, just so that you know in terms of what you're actually ingesting. Now the next type on my list of calcium supplements is calcium citrate, or it could be calcium citrate malate. And what that means is that it's actually bound, so the calcium is bound, using either citric acid or malic acid, and the initial source is usually rocks again. Um, so the thing about this is that it only is about 20% of the elemental calcium. So again, not great in terms of bioavailability or your body's ability to utilize that. Now in terms of the absorption, it is more on the acidic side. So for some people that's better than the more alkaline forms, but for a lot of people it's not. And the next on my list is calcium lactate. So this is only about 13% of elemental calcium and the bioavailability is poor. And some of the sources would be aged cheeses. So if you like to eat aged cheese and also baking powder will have a little bit of this type of calcium being the calcium lactate. But because of the poor availability, you're not really absorbing a lot of that calcium. Now next on the list is calcium gluconate. So the unfortunate thing about this one is that it's only in an oral form, only about 9% of the elemental calcium. It's super expensive, but if you were to have to get an IV of calcium to regulate your hypocalcemia in the blood, and this would usually be an emergency situation, then this may be the type that you would get in an IV. And now to my favorite type of calcium supplement is coral calcium. So coral derived from the ocean's coral. And again, there's different grades and types of coral calcium. But the one that I like is, again, 38% of the elemental calcium. So very good bioavailability and also contains other trace minerals. And when you're looking for a coral calcium, you want to ensure that it is an above sea level fossilized coral calcium. And what that means is that it's sustainable, that the oceans aren't depleted in terms of that coral. And it's really important because it contains these other trace minerals. So things like boron, rubidium, silica, which is naturally occurring, even a little bit of magnesium, which is naturally occurring within the coral itself to ensure that proper absorption of that calcium. It's very alkalinizing to the body, so that helps with absorption. And studies have shown when it's been paired up, up against calcium carbonate that even, you know, it was a relatively small subject study, but it showed that that absorption in the intestine from the calcium carbonate versus the coral calcium, the coral calcium did much better in terms of that absorption. So that's one of the reasons that I love it and clinically have had the best results with the coral calcium. Again, if you're going to purchase, make sure you're getting it from a reputable company that's doing all of the testing to make sure that there's no heavy metals or radiation contamination in the source of that coral calcium. So there you have it. That's my, you know, view on the different types of calcium supplements. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Janine Bowering. I would appreciate that big thumbs up. I totally love to hear all of your comments and your, you know, questions that you may have as well about different types of supplements, about calcium. If you've experienced, you know, good or the bad or the ugly with your calcium supplements, I'd love to hear about it in the comments comments below and also make sure that you're subscribed. So if you're new, make sure that you click that bell, turn on those notifications, all the notifications. So you just want to click all so you get my newest and latest upload and we do that every single day of the week. Remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.